You know, yo, you catch predators and then they want to fuck you over. Like, damn. Shout out to Julian. The person you were just watching is named Rami Dolly, and he's part of a group that call themselves the Predator Poachers. They go out and catch predators, I guess you could compare it to Chris Hansen, Chris Hansen style, where they go on dating gaps as un and pretend to be underage kids and lure adults out, and then they film them and expose them. The leader of this group is named Alex. He owns and operates the two main Predator Poacher channels on YouTube. The group also consists of smaller channels that are located in different cities in the United States. Rami operates and owns the channel that is located in New Jersey. His channel currently has 30,000 subscribers and has been growing quickly since it was created around three months ago. Alex is accusing Rami of lying to his subscribers. Just listen to this phone call Alex had with Cassidy Campbell, a YouTuber with 1.3 million subscribers. Hello? Yeah, hello? Yeah, can you hear me? Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, yeah, okay, so... Some people, I, I guess they're saying they don't believe the whole... Rami thing? Yeah. Okay, so... Like, literally none of this shit is fake. None of this shit is fucking fake. Can they hear me? Yeah, they can hear you. Okay, well, yeah. I've literally heard all the phone calls, seen the text, like, everything Alex is saying is the truth, and this guy's even saying that, uh... I'm not, like, friends with you and all this stuff. Like, that's a load of shit, too. Like, how does he know anything? He just makes up shit as he goes. Asking for fucking donations on his live stream for a bulletproof vest and not even buying the $700 bulletproof vest. Asking for donations for... Because he has a hitman after him. What the fuck? Who does this kind of shit? Fucking scam, dude. This guy's a con artist. You can just fucking see it, man. Uh, I know. And, and he... It, and, and he wouldn't even be anywhere if, if it wasn't for you. His Nobody would even know his channel existed. Nobody would ever know about it. All he does is say, my guy, my guy. Not even his, like, like, like Jesus. He, he just sounds like every douche in fucking New Jersey. Right. 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 And. Damn, you know man. Like, this guy's, a, this guy's a fucking compulsive liar, dude. He just wants money. So, as you can see, tensions are pretty high right now. Rami was also on a live stream telling his viewers he needed $700 for a bulletproof vest. When you can see here at the receipt, it was only $200. And here's a video where he was telling his viewers during a live stream that he needed a brake replacement that would cost $1,000. Today with the donations, respect my guy and make that money. Yeah, we're not doing too bad. We're doing okay. Probably we made like 200 bucks today. It's all gonna, it's all gonna fucking go towards the $1,000 brake replacements. But yeah, it's not bad. It's definitely gonna fucking help. I can tell you that much. And here's a screenshot of the receipt where it only cost $165 to fix the brakes. So, Rami, I don't know what you're doing, man, but I think you just need to kind of step back and kind of build up your humanity a little bit. These are people that are donating their hard-earned money to you because they like your content and the way you do things. You need to kind of step back and take a bigger look at things before you end up losing the following that you have and all of your fans.
And also, man, you need to stop going live trash talking Alex. Alex is literally someone who has looked out for you since day one. Let you make a channel, helped you make a channel, and he's, you know, he, he's looked out for you. So there's, it's not a good look, especially when you're a hundred percent in the wrong. And also, Alex also showed on his live stream where instead of doing a five-year contract like he did with every other branch, every other Predator Poacher branch, he only did a one-year contract with Rami and only asked him for 10%. Now, I'm not a genius on contracts, but one year and you only have to pay 10% of your revenue that sounds like a dang good contract. So, Rami, like I said, man, you obviously, you have fans, you have a following. You obviously are doing something right. Yeah, you might not be a part of Predator Poachers anymore. And you just, you need to take a step back and you need to look at things. You need to realize that the way you were doing things was wrong. What you can do to fix it and then attempt to fix things. So I wish you the best of luck and hope everyone liked this video. If you did, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel if you're new. Peace.